So this noon, there are questions about the security of a South Boston building where two doctors were brutally murdered. Investigators say the victims did not have a personal relationship with their suspected killer, but he may have worked nearby. And now we're hearing more from the families of those two doctors. WBZ's Nicole Jacobs is live in South Boston with the very latest. Nicole? Kate, this story has touched the hearts of so many worldwide, but perhaps none compared to the heartbreak of a mother. As details continue to emerge into the brutal South Boston double murder, we're getting a closer look into the lives of Dr. Richard Field and Dr. Lena Bolaños, how they were loved and how special they were to their families. In a Facebook post, Dr. Bolaños's mother writes, My beautiful girl, nothing and no one can tear you from my heart. I love you. I love you and I will love you until eternity. The two doctors were engaged to be married, but Friday night terror entered their 11th floor penthouse apartment by way of Bambumem Texera, police say. From his hospital bed, he stands accused of tying them up, slitting their throats, and stuffing a backpack with jewelry. There is no evidence whatsoever at this stage to conclude that this defendant had a personal relationship with Dr. Bolanos or Dr. Field. But Texera is familiar with the legal system, having just served time for bank robberies. Court documents for those crimes reveal he was a concierge for the building next to the doctors. When police arrived Friday night, they found a set of keys outside of the apartment and then encountered Texera inside, where they thought he pointed and fired a weapon. So they shot back, hitting him three times. The DA now confirming the suspect never opened fire. But for Bolaños's mother, who is forever heartbroken, no explanation of the crime is likely comfort. Her Facebook post continuing, I will always remember you until God brings us together again and continue to enjoy each other as we always did. I did make several attempts to contact the company that handles security for these buildings. I have not yet heard back. The Colombian Foreign Ministry also released a statement with regards to Dr. Bolaños's death. Uh, in it, it's requesting a speedy investigation, and it also indicates that representatives will accompany Bolaños's family when they head here to Boston. We're live in South Boston. Nicole Jacobs, WBZ News.